Yeah, um, I want to be out there. I, I enjoy playing football. I love coming out here and being able to practice. Um, I don't want to be in there um, hurt and banged up, but it comes with the, the sport. But if I'm able to be out here, I want to be out here with my teammates. I want to make the calls. I, I'm a perfectionist when it comes to knowing what to do and doing all that. And for me, it's, it's seeing the reps and being out there and having game like reps and practice every day. Uh, yeah, you go through it some plays, um, but if I'm able to get up, I'm going to get up, and I just want to be out there. I want to win games, and I want to win a championship. What was your first injury as a kid playing football, and how did you handle the pain as a, as a youngster? Uh, that was the thing. Is growing up on the farm, it wasn't football and sports. I, I hit a barbed bar fence on a bicycle, cut my throat open really bad. Two weeks later, I got hit in the head with a baseball bat, had brain surgery, and uh, I remember the doctor was worried about the big cut on my neck. He was like, what is going on with this kid? I've had broken leg for a year and a half in high school and thought it was shin splints and had to get that taken out, my tibia taken out. So I've had some stuff, but I just wanted to play. If, if I wasn't playing in high school, I was on the farm working. So I wanted to go play sports. I didn't want to be at home. You know, the pass protection issue is not exclusive in offense. Right. But the coaches seem very anxious as it comes up to say, wide receiver, separation, huh. Ryan, holding the ball. I huh. imagine you guys want it. Right. Um, everybody has a job to do on third downs, and we try to be better. Um, but it, it starts with us. We got to be firmer. We got to run them by the edge. But it's, this is a team sport, and everybody's got to be precise. We got to be in and out the huddle so we can see the different calls and blitzes. But we just got to be better as a whole unit on, on third down. How much pride do you take in the fact that just as the game goes on, you know what happens with Derek and right. the guys? Yeah, um, we know if we can um, keep giving the ball 2-2 two -two late in the fourth quarter, he wears on people, and people are not willing to tackle him um, 30, 40 times a game, and he wants it that many times. He's a guy that he's passionate in the huddle. He's passionate. He wants the ball. He wants his touches, and as an old lineman, we want, to, we want to be able to still run it at the end of the game. That means we're in control and close out people at the end of the game instead of having to sit back and pass. As an offensive lineman, are you of the mindset that one sack of Brian is too many, or you can see that sometimes it's going to happen got to fix it the next time. Yeah, he's our quarterback. I don't want him hit. Um, he's a guy who's he's a tough guy who always gets up, and we're trying to take as many hits as possible. But we know it's, they have good players over there. You have mashups on every play, and you know some people's jobs are harder on each play. But we're trying to win those battles and keep them as clean as possible. A couple more for Ben versus our KB at the end. Yeah, um, as a team, they're, they're playing well. Um, the past four weeks, they've been they've had two shutouts. They've play extremely fast on defense. You saw how they played on Sunday night um, going into the Chiefs atmosphere. So they will be prepared. They're a fast physical team, and we know what we have on the plate and what we got to do.